Welcome to SmartX PRL. This is a video demonstrating how to fix errors when attempting to generate XPRL. After you have uploaded either a Word or HTML document to the service, you may have errors when attempting to generate XPRL. This is usually because some of the tags or dates entered are invalid. First, let's attempt to generate XPRL for this filing. Click Validate and Generate XPRL. Then click Generate. When you attempt to generate XPRL that has errors in it, you'll see this pop-up listing errors in your filing. First, it lists the document that contains the error, then the page in which it occurred, and then lastly what the error exactly was. In this case, we got two errors. Both are in the d10q.htm file. One of the errors is in our balance sheet. It looks like two different entries have the same tag. We can just fix this by changing one of the tags to a currently unused one. The second error is in our cash flow statement, where we're apparently missing a date in one of the fields. Let's go fix these now. First, let's fix the balance sheet. It looks like two of the labels share the same tag, liabilities and stockholders equity. Two labels cannot share the same tag. In order to remedy this, just switch one of the tags to a different tag. We'll switch liabilities and stockholders equity in the total stockholders equity label to stockholders equity. This tag matches the text in this entry more closely, so it makes sense to change this entry to this tag. The other label, total li liabilities and stockholders equity, also has liabilities and stockholders equity tag, but in that case it fits the entry much more closely, so we'll let that be. Now this error should be fixed, provided that no other field has liabilities and stockholders equity as a tag. Next, we'll fix the cash flow statement. There's a missing date in the fourth column. Just enter the date in the box to, in order to fix the error. We'll put the end date for this fiscal quarter, March 31st. After we have made our changes, we have to save the filing before we can generate XBRL with our new changes. Click Save Changes. Press OK. Remember to save often, since if you close your filing without saving, you will lose your unsaved changes. Now when you attempt to generate XBRL, you should encounter no errors and you should be able to download your finished XPRL. Click Validate and Generate XPRL. Click Generate. And now you can right click and save the link that contains your generated XPRL to your desktop. Thank you for watching this video.